uh, Rainer Gnall explaining his recent work with news. Working with the news. I collected these New York Times papers. You can see they are collected from this year. And I am neutral. This one has nothing written on it. I can prove it. This one has written on it the word of the last presidency. And I'm totally neutral. But I put the name of the current president on it, the United States. That name is Biden, B-I-D-E-N, in case you don't remember it anymore. Because soon that name will also be forgotten. But you know, look at this. It's oil. Can you see oil? It's oil. And then that's a stain. You see the stains? Now, if I put this here, also it would be stained. So in order to keep this neutral for yet another presidency, I'm going to put this here first because it has no stain. Trump below him had no stain. Now I put Biden on top of Trump and currently it's the presidency. But you understand? This is an artwork that has three parts and anybody collecting that artwork has a choice of his, her, their, she, his, her friends, political opinions or whatever to restash restack them according to will but listen to this in order in order to have it respected as an artwork it needs to be collected and respected and it is oil and these are documents so you should make sure that your cleaners your kids your dogs are not not using it for cleaning but or rats for eating but should that happen that's whatever when whatever under whatever circumstances should you be so high or so angry at any administration, at anybody, you could technically open it up, trash it, and make your own house party. And send me the photographs. I'll be sure making another book out of it. You could also use it as a performance platform where you have people put it down and everybody steps on it and says whatever damned thing they have on their mind. High heels welcome. You know, beer, welcome. Cocaine, welcome. But not with kids. But you need to pay first. 
you pay first and then we have a deal then we have a deal thank you so much and this is an artwork by Rhino Canal he's whatever you want to call him he's an artist you can call him a conceptual artist you can call him an artist a fine artist I would say rather yes Somebody who is familiar with fluxes, somebody who's familiar with conceptual art, somebody who's familiar with media art, somebody who studied quite a bit, somebody who has degrees in history, somebody who has degrees in philosophy, somebody who has not handed in a PhD on Edward Said and Beatrice Spivak, somebody who knows political history, somebody who has degrees, I mean at least papers who followed seminars in political history, in political discourse, in questions of aesthetic, in the very philosophical question what is art and what is not. And somebody who's really interested in American affairs, somebody who has himself a background of legal affairs and the way courts function somebody who has himself subject to abuse somebody who's kind of constantly in court somebody who knows what it means to be framed somebody who has to fight for his reputation somebody who is sued somebody who is constantly fighting for his work right now while we are talking because work like that goes currently to the curb in a non-pleasant way, in a very unpleasant way. Hence, I need money. I cannot continue providing simple information, but I do it nonetheless. So go ahead and copy it as if, yes, as if, yes, as if, yes, as if, yes, it is an amalgam of many things. Yes, it is. But, nonetheless, it is made in a historical place, which has in itself a history of abuse, a history of transformation, a history of racism, a history of trauma, in fact, the very house it is made is slightly tainted. It is full of bizarre stories of crimes. In fact, I could have been in self, I could have been myself in one of those papers because around a year ago I was subject to a very unpleasant treatment in the street, namely because I was white. I was supposed to be dead. I was supposed, I was said to have used the wrong word. Hence, people who follow me, please listen carefully. Do not kill me over for my artwork. That's my artwork. I'm sorry. Currently, it's the Biden administration. I voted, you know, sense. Meaning, I don't care what people vote. Anybody can vote what they want. I respect any opinion. Art is art. Political life is a political life. I'm not a politician because any politician makes sense, no? When they win, when they lose, they make even more sense because then then too they land in the papers. Now, do you want to really land in the papers? As an artist, maybe, maybe not. In my case, I wished I had been gotten some sympathy for having been nearly killed over what? Rate, I mean, hate language. I thought that was hate language because I was white in an area that is historically for a long time, but not exclusively 
gentrified, mainly actually black sort of, yeah. In fact, complicated histories. I'm very sorry for being here. I'm sorry one more time that people perceive me here as what? As who I am. I'm sorry for that. Sorry that I'm white, but sorry that I have been living here for uh, over 30 years, almost, yeah. Not here in this location, in fact, another one. In fact, sorry that I am even alive, but guess what? We have a new administration, hopefully less attacks on my life. But I still keep posting these works. I have to, because I'm an artist. And it does not necessarily reveal what I really think, because, you know, anybody is a platform you can think, you can say whatever you want. It's that's the very mission of this work. It's a three part piece that has been in the making, in the planning, that has been in the making, in the planning. Okay. And then I'm very curious to talk to you. Thank you so much. I love you all. Sorry that I'm alive, but I'm happy to be alive. Yes, happy to be alive. Sorry for that. Thank you. And these are, by the way, COVID years that are really not fair for people who are less versed in digital communication, but who doesn't know the iPhone or the iPad or the i whatever you have there. Because after all, anybody can do anything, but you have to have a tradition, you have to have a way to explain it. A statement, a mission. That is my mission statement for my work with stacks of news. Sculptures, three-dimensional, interactive pieces, platforms, speakers' corners, England, in whatever language, in Espanol, por que no, in Deutsch, warum nicht, en anglais, pourquoi pas, en français, warum nicht, of course, por que no, and then we could go on, and then the Dong Budong, and then Kren Chanayo, and then Sugoi Nandesko. Sugoi Nandemo Yo. Sugoi Vamos Aya al la playa. Vamos a hacer una piolicola. Vamos a. Vamos en la playa. Por la playa. Vamos. Por la calle. Vamos por la calle. Ella está por la calle, por la calle, in the street, siempre por la calle. No, narod, narodnia, narodnia, narodnia. V plášat, v krasni plášat. Je nužno da, je nužno. Okay, sorry. I'm European, but I am not insane. Thank you so much. Do not send me 911. One more time, sorry for that. I am actually an artist and I do not need necessarily what? A mental hospital that a 9 around call that tells me what? That I'm suicidal or that I'm manic. I'm not. I'm a performance artist, I'm an artist. I'm just gonna be an artist, I'm a conception artist. I'm an artist in the tradition of fluxes, in the tradition of, I'm just Ryan Nuganal, an artist from the East Coast, New York, but then with origins everywhere. Sorry for that. Not insane. Thank you so much. 50 minutes. Mission statement. Three piece sculptures, a platform, a discussion, a conversation with you. Thank you so much. I love you all. Thanks for not killing me.